Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to go through how I made these embroidered felt pins with a safety pin backing. You'll need some embroidery thread or bundled up sewing thread for this. I halved my embroidery thread or I bundled three sewing threads. You'll also need some felt and you can use an embroidery hoop if you'd like. First I drew out some designs on paper and traced them onto the felt with pencil. I tied a couple knots at the end of the thread and began filling in the design. a string, I go through a few strings on the back of the design and then put my needle through the hole created by the slack from the last pull. You can do that a couple of times just to secure and then cut off the excess string. For some of my designs, I outlined them with a back stitch going all around. To make the rice for some of the sushis, I decided to do French knots which have a texture. To make a French knot, you take the end of the string that's opposite to the needle end and wrap it around the needle a few times. Then you hold that wrap string to keep it tight while you poke the needle into a point right next to where you began. Here I'm holding tightly onto the string with my left hand. If you let the string get loose, the knot will come out loose. The more times you wrap the thread around the needle, the bigger the knot will be. Now I'm attempting to make embroidery shading with the matcha bubble tea. First with my darker shade of green, I'm doing a long stitch length followed by a short one and then repeating that until I fill the entire length. Next with my lighter green string, I'm sort of repeating the long and short pattern, but I'm really just doing it randomly to fill it in. I'm poking in my light green string in the middle of the dark green stitches rather than at the end of the dark green stitch to mix the colors better. After I'm done the embroidery, I'm trimming the felt around the design. I'm cutting out another piece of felt in the same shape for the backing. To attach the safety pin to the back, I just sew it on the side of the clip that doesn't open. Once that's done, I'm doing a back stitch around the entire design to sew the two pieces of felt together. I packaged these by cutting out cards out of bristol board and punching out two holes for the pins. 